Okay, so we're going to begin our look at Thunderstruck by ACDC here by taking a look at the classic intro. Now, before we go move forward, a lot of people like to play this with just straight hammer-ons and pull-offs. So, but unfortunately, that is not the way it's actually played. Even though you may see him in the uh, official music video and he's kind of doing that in the video, that is not how it's played on the record. If you ever watch him play live or you listen to the record, you can hear a definite pick attack on every note. So he actually picks every single one of those notes that he's playing. Now that makes it actually far more difficult to play than if we were just doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you need to keep that in mind while we, while we learn this. If you like the sound of just going legato, that's fine, but that's not the way the actual recording is done. No matter how many people you see do it on YouTube or whatever, play it like that. You must pick every note with alternate picking. So let me play through it really quick and then we'll uh, take a look at what we're gonna do. Here we go. And then it continues to do that part for pretty much five straight minutes throughout the entire song, but just a lot lower in the mix. So let's go through this. Now, uh, what we're going to start with here is an open B string. And to get this really down and make it feel comfortable, you want to do all the open B strings. Now we're going to have an open B between every single note in the left hand. So we're going to start with the open B string and start it with an upstroke. And then every single note that you fret and with your fretting hand, you're going to be picking with a downstroke. So we're going to start out like this. Open B. All these notes are going to be on the B string, by the way. And then we're going to have a downstroke of the fourth fret. Back to the open B. Then a downstroke at the seventh fret. So we're going to do that eight times. Okay, then we just move that up one fret. So now it's going to be five and eight on the, in the left hand, and we're just going to uh, do the same picking. Okay, so we have eight times on both of those. Then you're going to repeat all of that that we just did. So it's going to sound like this. All right, now from there, after that last eight here with the pinky, we're gonna start this phrase with an open B string, and I'm just gonna call it the fret. So remember, we're gonna have an open string with a upstroke between each one of these notes, and each one of these notes that I'm gonna call out here is gonna be picked with a downstroke. So the notes are gonna be 12, 10, nine, Then 10, 9, 7. You can figure these whichever way you feel comfortable. I like doing it with the pinky, the second to the first finger on the first three notes, then the pinky third and first on the next three notes. It just makes the hand move around less. Okay, so we have this with the open string. Now, the next note we're going to play, we're going to go back to this 9, then to the 5, and to the 7. So we have... Then we're going to have the open string again, and now we're just going to play between 4 and 5 over and over again. So 
So we have. So you went four, five, four, five, four, five. That's three times, and then you ended it just with the four by itself. So we have all together. Okay, so that part right there, when we go into the part where we're moving from the 12th fret all the way down to the 4th, like I said, that repeats through most of the song, through the verses, and, and it's a lot lower in the mix. Um, I've seen him do it live, and he'll kind of do it for the first half of the song, and then he'll just kind of stop doing it. And of course, the song ends with that, but it slows down. So it just kind of slowly, gradually slows it down at the very end of the song. All right, so make sure your pick, alternate picking doesn't get very tight. Try to keep your hand loose and try to keep those pick strokes even, um, even though it feels kind of awkward because we're going from the feel of picking an open string to the feel of picking uh, a fretted string. So the string tension is changing quite dramatically between each pick stroke. So you got to really concentrate on making it as even as possible. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to start taking a look at the rhythm guitar parts next.